In this video I want to show how you can run a simulation, a probability simulation, in Desmos graphing calculator. So we're going to be simulating rolling two dice and seeing how likely it is that they would add up to eight. To start off with, we're going to let D be the numbers from one to six, and those are the different possibilities if you roll a die. To roll a die, I can type d.random and see here it's rolled a 5, here's it rolled a 2, 5 again, 1, and we want to roll two dice, so what I'm going to do is d.random plus d.random, and the two dice have added up to 5, and I can do it again, they've added up to 8, 7, 4, and so on. We can now ask Desmos to do this just more than once, if we put square brackets at the front and say for i equals 1 to 10, it's rolled two dice 10 times. I'm just going to make this bit bigger so we can see it. So d.random plus d.random, we've got um, 10 um, sums here. I'm going to call the answer s because in a moment we're going to analyze it. And so s here, we've got um, 10 sums of dice. All right, I'm interested in how many times the number eight occurs. So one, two, three. If I want to get Desmos to filter that list S to just find the eights, I can go S square bracket S equals eight, which probably seems a little bit of overkill uh, when you've only got 10 numbers to look at. But if we've got 10,000, uh, this is gonna save us a lot of time. So I can see we've got three eights there and I want to count. Okay, so that has three elements. So that's how many times we've got an eight. If I randomize again, this time we just have one eight, now four eights, uh, two eights, and so on. But as I said, we want to do more than 10 trials. Maybe we'll do 100 trials, 1,000, 10,000 trials. And 10,000 uh, is probably the largest you'll be able to go in Desmos uh, unless they update things. All right, so 1371 is how many times we got the dice sum of eight, uh, we can randomize that again. Okay, obviously you can do more complicated things like you could add a third die in there by typing plus dot plus d dot random. Uh, now getting an eight uh, might be rarer. Uh, I'm not sure off the top of my head, looks like it's a little bit less likely, uh, but I'm just gonna bring that back. So it's the two dice adding up to eight. Uh, the last thing we could do is we could figure out the experimental probability. We could divide this by 10,000 but actually I'm just going to do divide by count s because that just tells me you know how many simulations did we run so at the top here we've got the number of successes you know equaling eight and down the bottom we've got the total number of simulations and that has the advantage that if I change this number then we're going to be able to um, update the probability and it'll be pretty accurate okay uh, one last thing we have got a graphing calculator here but we haven't really graphed anything you don't have to but let's just see, you can actually plot the results with a dot plot. Okay, so this dot plot here shows the different outcomes. And you can see eight, apparently there were 18, and yeah, that does look like it goes up to 18 here. Um, and if we shuffle, that dot plot is also gonna change. Uh, if you do more simulations, and so you're gonna have to re-zoom, you'll see that those numbers in the middle are much more common and that getting a two or getting a 12 is quite rare. All right, well, I hope you found this helpful.